You are a lion. I am. You are. Roar. Roar. <laughs> Shin dobre everyone, my name is Atticus Schaefer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Atticus Schaefer Vlog. Today is a very special day for this video because I am joined by the one and only Mama Debbie. That's me. Woohoo! Yeah. So, guys, this is a very special video. Uh, Mom and I get to do a video together finally, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. Um, this was actually a lot of fun and actually a spur of the moment uh, video concept that Mom actually came up with, which I think is really cool. So, as you can see behind us and throughout our glorious kitchen, thank you, Sharon, by the way, for the rooster, or the hen, I should say. Um, we display it with pride. Mom and I love things. We love knickknacks, we love little trinkets, we love little items of artistry and of the way things used to be. Um, we really love anything that you can find that's vintage or antique or even just kind of cool and has a lot of character to it, even from something from the 80s or 90s, back when they still made things But the things way well. we find it is e even better. Yes. Is through secondhand stores, mm -hmm. through swap meets, mm -hmm. through... Uh, yard sales through thrift shops, so it's it's finding treasures exactly. that are not very expensive but yes. still have value. Exactly, and that value can be shown in a lot of different ways. Either mm -hmm. it's an actual expensive item that you're getting for cheap, or it's an item that has artistry in it that, quite frankly, is lost. Absolutely, and right. then the other thing is too that. I enjoy using most of the things that we buy. Yes. Obviously, we have knickknacks that we we can enjoy looking at. Right. But a lot of the things that um, I do find that are vintage or antique, I use because then it becomes part of our lives. Absolutely, and even something like what you're wearing. This is a vintage apron that you have on, and you get to wear it on special occasions when you're being Martha Stewart, Mama Debbie. Yeah. Um, or Tasha Tudor, Mama Debbie. Or something like this, which is a, a vintage. Um, Actually, it's not vintage. It's not vintage. It is a frugal find at the Dollar Tree. But see, there you go. Frugal find at the Dollar Tree looks awesome. Has great quality, and it has really cool autumn colors, yeah. which. Mom and I love. My Autumn favorite. is our favorite season. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you can look around behind us. I've shown a lot of different things on stream or on videos that exactly as Mom said. It's stuff that we enjoy to use. It's stuff that brings us joy. And again, money is one of those things where when you can spend it on something that brings you joy, it's an experience, and you spend it wisely is quite frankly something that we adore doing. Yeah. And it's memories. It's memories I get to make with my mom. Uh, or other family members or friends that we have also done this with throughout the years. It's memories that whenever we look at the item, even that has a memory where we go, man, remember when we did whatever, exactly. at whatever place, at whatever time. So, That's right. so what happened was, is uh, today is Friday. As you can tell by the time of this video, it is Frugal Friday. This is something that we're trying. And what happened today is Fridays are usually our day where we get out of the house and we do whatever it is that we need to do in the next city over from us. So whether that be visiting the post office, doing some grocery shopping, maybe we have to go to the pharmacy, pick up a prescription, maybe we have an appointment, whatever it might be, we go and we do it on Friday. That's right. But what ends up happening that mom and I have decided to do is we want to take uh, some sort of activity that we enjoy doing and do it on Friday. That way it's not just a bunch of work when we go out. We can actually do something that at the end of the day we can go, man, we accomplished all this, but we had fun doing this. Yeah. Might be, uh, well, almost always it'll include a meal, but then after that it can be something fun where maybe we go to the arcade at the mall and we go and have fun there. We visit Barnes and Noble and look at books or magazines. Oh yeah, um, that's or, true. or we visit a secondhand store. Today, as you guys could see from the footage that played at the beginning of this video, we found a new, new to us, secondhand store called Assisted League. And it's a really awesome store that we only recently discovered. They're really only open three hours a day for only a few days in we the week. We were lucky to be we, there at the right time. Right. We drove by, apparently, right when they opened, which yeah. was really cool. Long line of people out front. So it was a pretty packed store, even though it was a fairly small store. Very clean. Did not have an odor to it at all. No. Sometimes secondhand stores, the clothing or whatever, it just has a nasty smell. This place did not. 
and a lot of their profits go to charity, which we think is really cool. So even though we get really good quality stuff for cheap, uh, the money is going to a good cause it's as actually well. Actually, multiple charities. Multiple which charities. Is nice. Yeah. And Very it's mainly nice. for children. Mm -hmm. So we were really happy with that. Very precious store. And right when we walked in, I mean, we were just off to the races. It was oh, yeah. so I exciting. That way and yes. Atticus went that way. Exactly. And so yeah. what we want to do is we want to show you guys what all we were able to purchase at this store and actually for fairly cheap. I, 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 if, if this is a rough guesstimate, there's definitely some change in here, but we got everything that we're about to show you for around $20. It's awesome. It's super awesome. And we were awesome. in there an hour and oh, a yeah. half or more. But oh, yeah. And just, it's like going to Disneyland for right. us. We so we were ready, ready to pop some tags. We had $20 in our <laughs> pocket and this is our come up. And if you are like That's mom good. and I, and you're laughing right now at that joke, please comment down below. Anyway, I'm going to start with what caught my eye almost right you away. You want to go back and forth? Yeah, we'll go back and forth. I'll grab something, you grab something. Okay. So, um, right now, I'm going to start on the very first thing that caught my eye. When we walked in, uh, mom was looking at some knickknacks on a couple different tables, and my eyes went right up to this, which was in the back corner shelf, on um, a very high shelf. I'm surprised I was able to reach it, but I have orangutan arms. And I was able to find this one pound Ritz Crackers limited edition tin. Uh, and this, we, we saw the day at the bottom, it is 1986. So this is super cool. That's I right. had one. Yeah. I had one and it was in the stores before. It was filled with crackers, which, mm -hmm. by the way, I brought up in my videos before that we're experiencing something called um, shrinkflation, shrinkflation yep. where you're getting less food or less product in packaging than you used to. And um, Ritz crackers used to be this tall. Yeah. Now they shrink in, if you look at the boxes now, to here. Yeah. So you're getting this much four stacks less package uh, less product How, and this is proof of it yeah so anyway but in the old days I had bought one when I was young mm -hmm. in 1986 younger mm -hmm. younger younger young. yeah, I was young young yeah. and then um, loved mine and somehow or other lost it Atticus refound Found replacement. One. You know, the funny thing, too, that I always think is super cool, you probably hear Pumpkin talking in the background. That's fine. He's serenading you. Um, but one of the funny things, too, is that Mom and I have this affinity for all, for all things packages, boxes, or bags. And so when I see a tin and it's in great condition, the, it's, it's not that I ever put anything in trinkets or boxes like this. It's just the idea of being able to do that that is so exciting for me. And literally what we do is we just display this somewhere and we get to look at it. So I think it's a lot of fun. It, yeah. So that was item number one that we found and scored the one pound tin of Ritz crackers. So now mom is going to showcase you something. I'm going to fall. Don't fall. All right. So did, did you say pocket... Uh, Packages, packages, boxes, or bags. Boxes or bags. Yes. And bowls. And bowls. For yes. some reason, we love bowls, so it must be a container. Thing. It's yes, it's a container item. We have one of these. We found one somehow or other at some other place that was um, probably a thrift shop, mm -hmm. and then I found a second one. It's an old Pyrex. It's vintage, mm -hmm. and it's an awesome cereal bowl or a salad bowl, but because I like to look at the cereal through the glass. It makes a, with the milk, and yes. it floats or it'll sink. Yes. And you're eating it and just having that whole visual experience as exactly. well as the taste experience. Exactly. So just for, um, are we are we telling them prices? Well, it all came down to it all came 20, to about twenty dollars. So for um, cheap, just say for cheap. cheap and yeah. it was cheaper than the other one. I got another Pyrex cereal bowl. He has one. Now I have one. Love it. Now we have a perfect pair. So the next item, I'm actually going to showcase two at the same time, Okay. is mom, when I found this, I showed it to her. She loved it and she told me the story that she told you guys about how she had it back in the day. Well, she said, okay, I know we're going to find stuff. Go back up to the front, grab me a basket so we can put all of our stuff in. Oh, yeah. So when I did, I passed by this. It caught my eye. I 
brought the basket back to mom, and then she put the Ritz crackers thing in it, and then I went back to get this. Uh, these two things, I should say. So, you guys know my uh, style is camouflage chic, and I was able to find this Crafted with Pride in America jam cotton sweater that is camouflage. So, this sweater, um, this is a large men's, found it in the men's section, and obviously that is far too big for me. So, what mom and I are going to do, it, it, it looks, it looks like it could potentially fit me. Yeah. So, we might try it on, and we might not do what I'm about to say we're going to do to it, but if it doesn't fit me the way that it is now, stock as a sweater, what I'm actually going to do is, mom is really good with a pair of scissors, and I'm actually going to have her cut it down to a sleeveless shirt that does fit me. Uh, I love sleeveless shirts, I love cotton shirts, I love cotton sweaters, I love anything of the like, and so this just screamed me. And for the price that it was, and it's still made in America, um, is awesome. So, that was part one. The second part is actually the shirt I'm wearing. I threw this on after we got back, mom cleaned That's it up, good. dried it real quick, and, uh, and put this on. This is a full cotton H&M brand men's shirt, small. Okay, so Fits we're me talking perfect. about a buck here. Yeah, this was a dollar. A dollar. This was a dollar. This was a couple bucks. This was a dollar. Yeah. And it fits me perfect. And it's practically brand it's a great new. Great color. No right? smell. Great color. Definitely the earth tones, which is my color scheme. Oh yeah. And so I was able to get this and wear it up, and it's awesome. So I have a couple shirts for cheap that yep. I get to wear. It's finally starting to cool off here in California, and so this will probably be the most I have to commit to winter clothing. And I have a new piece for winter clothing, so I'm very Plus happy you have about that. Uh, pumpkin hair on it. Too. I do have pumpkin hair on it. Warmer. Exactly, it's an extra layer of insulation. Uh oh. I'm gonna make my bag. Sounds good. So I have a multiple viewing. I, as probably some of you know, if you're watching videos of what I'm doing, I'm canning a lot. Yes. And in the homestead world and in the canning world and, and people who want to be self-sufficient, whatever, we have a serious shortage of jars and lids and all that stuff. And I was very blessed, very blessed Yes. to find jars for a dollar. A dollar. Don't, don't hate me. A dollar a piece. This one is a vintage Atlas mason jar, which is just gorgeous. Oh, look, they put it an Italian um, sauce lid on. That's it. funny. That's okay. That's fine. We'll make it work. And then uh, uh, it's going to be like Christmas. I'll just throw the wrap down for now. Do it. We'll clean it later. On top of that, part of the multi fuel. Oh, please don't let me drop it. Don't drop it. Another canning jar. No this is a crystal. Um, I think it's a, either a ball or might be Kerr. This is a taller version, which I can never find in the Ever. stores anymore. Yeah. I have them, but this is one. Another dollar. See, they're 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 charging upwards of thirty dollars for a case of jars now, which in is retail, the only, yeah. Only be well, like on Amazon, right. It's the price gouging thing. Right. And uh, when you could get them for like eight bucks, seven bucks for a case, and that's it's not happening anymore. So again, I'm very blessed. Whoa, there's two. Yeah, oh, there's one more. Yeah, no, but this is different. Oh, that's a ball. Yeah. Okay. Ball mason so jar. You have to know about this. A ball mason jar. The ball mason jars today could be made in China. Mm -hmm. Now the reason why I say that is the, well, the ones made in China, the glass breaks extremely easily. Yes. So you go to all the effort of, of making your recipe mm -hmm. for your vegetables or whatever to be canned or your fruits, and then you, as you start to drop it into the hot water, they burst. Yeah. And I've had this happen to me three times. So if you're going to can, you need to look for the made in, does that, it says, made, it says made in the USA. I'm going to show Look it right now. Look for the made in the USA. Right there. Right there. And that's what that is. This actually has a little fruit pattern on the it. It does. It's cute. Yeah. Thing. And measurements on the side. Yeah. So cool. I, I have some of those. Really? Anyway, a dollar a piece. So this was the deal. 
So yeah. I'm going to, I think that's it for the jars. Yep. Keep, definitely keep that in your lap. We'll cool. get to you in a sec. It's um, but let's go ahead and I'm going to showcase, let's see, what's in here? Oh yeah, this was really cool. Oh, this is actually mine. This is yours. It's, well, I'm pretty sure the rest My of the stuff choice. is yours. Yeah, and this was your choice. So mom, this is actually what she was looking at when I went to get the shirts. Um, this is a beautiful pressed flower. Okay, so in the 60s, I, I don't remember the name of this plastic, but but in the 60s, this was all the rage. I, I have some other things from another thrift store mm -hmm. that are made of this plastic, and then there's pressed flowers in those as well, or mm -hmm. they made flowers of this plastic. But this is supposed to be a soap dish. It's absolutely adorable. Don't you think it's adorable? It's absolutely adorable. And, Look at that. And anyway, this type of plastic molding, I, I just remember in my mom's kitchen, mm -hmm. Um, she has some knicky knacky things, mm -hmm. and but when I saw that, what was it? A dollar? A dollar. A dollar. I had to have it. It's just look, and, and it's fall colors. It's fall colors it matches with our color scheme. Isn't it sweet? It's gorgeous. It's so sweet. And then when you That's go to the store and get some get some soap, and get your little hand soap, stick it on here, and then you get to use it. I know. And if not, it's a decoration. It's gone. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. All right, showcase the rest of what you have in your bag, and then we'll hit these last few. That helps. I have two things in the bag and one thing on the floor. The one thing on the floor will pair with this. So, so do these I'm, I'm going to do this one real quick. Um, it's an abalone shell that is absolutely beautiful. Look at you know what I that know. is? Barnacles. A barnacle. Look here, I'm going to show barnacle. you. Barnacle. Look at. I didn't barnacle. even have my glasses. Look I just zoomed in and grabbed it. You laser beamed like I did with the Ritz tin. It's so beautiful and that pearlescent look on the inside. Yes. Anyway, these are really, really difficult to find yeah. because sadly, you know, our oceans are being polluted mm -hmm. and uh, abalone of this size is just unheard of. Mm -hmm. So this shell, I, again, all of this is a blessing Yes. for me. It's almost like it has a carving on the inside. Yes. But I, I love it. We have boxes of shells. However. You need it out. one more. Who cares? And, and. I love it. Lastly, you know, I, I, I know there's this whole thing about LED lighting and it's supposed to be better energy efficient, but is it better? Because I personally think that our eyes are eventually going to be affected with yes. LED lighting. Absolutely. I know I cannot stand cars coming toward me with LED They're blinding. lighting. It, it, it is. Absolutely. And there's a lot of things that people say are environmentally better, but maybe they really aren't. So one of the things is, and I don't know if this is nationwide, but in California, you're not allowed to have regular light bulbs. And I just happen to find, and this will be good for a little side table, mm -hmm. a box of 15 watt soft white bulbs, normal, ordinary, Light Please bulbs. say that it is. Yep. yep. There's Soft no light bulbs. LED. No on LED it. on it. So I got little light bulbs yep. and I paid a dollar for it. A dollar. Otherwise, I've towards the end, mm -hmm. I've seen them for as much as ten dollars. I believe it. I believe so this it. This bag is empty. That bag is empty. Grab that on the floor. I'm going to grab these Do out you of this bag. Think that's going to be easy? Well, so it would not be an appropriate Atticus Schaefer vlog video unless at some point books were mentioned. So, mom and I, bookaholics, Bookaholics. you guys know, if you see my live streams on Twitch or on YouTube, you see the shelving behind me. That's just one room. So, let's start with this, just because this kind of is its own unique thing. Um, just a beautiful... Well, it's something good for me to read, yeah. something good for you to read. Absolutely. It's something good for somebody else to read. Yeah. But um, it actually has really lovely um, explanations of... What marriage is. What marriage is. What is marriage supposed to be? Marriage is a promise of love. And what it is, is it's a collection of poems uh, that just describe the beauty of marriage, what marriage is supposed to be, has some gorgeous um, illustrations in it. Gorgeous color I, schemes. I read some of the words in verbiage, and, and it's, it's, it's just a really sweet. lovely, sweet book. It's a very sweet book. You know, lots of lots of beautiful paintings and illustrations. So it's definitely something that Mom and I both are going to enjoy. 
This will be for me understanding my future wife better. Hopefully you're out there. Anyway. All right, so full disclosure, there's certain people in my life that influence me. Inspire, I would say. You're, you're right. Because I get Very inspired by inspired. people. Very inspired. Yes. And one of them, uh, well, let me, let me mention Tasha Tudor. If you want to look her up, because it would take me a really long time to explain how amazing that mm -hmm. woman was. Yes. But she was a children's book illustrator, and she lived the life of the 1800s. So yes. And her, her home was built like a 1700s house. Yep. And she lived the life of centuries past. But she was also a children's book illustrator. All right, so enough said of that. She influenced me. And then... Um, there, there were other people like Beatrix Potter. I mean, I, I have been influenced and, and inspired and, and just enriched in my life by various people. And men and women. Mm -hmm. But um, the full disclosure is Martha Stewart. Now, Martha Stewart used to live in a place called Turkey Hill mm -hmm. in Connecticut. And what I watched when she used to be on television was awesome. Yes. Her kitchen was very country baskets hanging from the ceiling and she did the really coolest things and she'd have holiday specials and yes. I loved her and then she ended up evolving into a, a, a bigger enterprise and then she had uh, magazines and books and it went on and on and on so I do have a collection of her books and I was so blown away that I found this is like brand new I know it's and crazy it's handmade Christmas um, Martha Stewart living and I love it and and I know all the the controversy that she went through but whatever whatever what I liked was the old Martha Stewart before she became kind of was it New York yeah metropolitan yeah cosmopolitan exactly and I, I just love it and it's full of um, be beautiful uh, photographs of projects. It's, it's crafts, do. it's cookies, it's candle making, it's the whole nine and three quarters. Ornament of minutes. Ornament of and It's beautiful. It's all the cool, old school, interesting, sweet things that you can enjoy at Christmas. What time. I want to, what I want to interject really fast about Martha Stewart is she. Um, also encouraged women at home. Yeah. She encouraged women to to cook. Yes. To be crafty. Yes. To garden. Yes. To to do things that uh, makes for homemaking. And I was going to say, it's taking your house or your structure in which you dwell and turning it into a home. Right. And giving it that warmth and giving it that love, not only for themselves, but for their families as well. And so that's the inspiration that she provided. Exactly. Beautiful. Exactly. And it lasted for many, many years. Now, the last item on this list, I'm going to hand one to you. I'm going to keep one myself. This was cool. This was super cool. So they, of all the days that we could have gone into that store, they were having a deal on cookbooks. A sale. You get two for one. Which was huge. No, or was, it was, it was if, you, if you buy one, you get the second one for half price. That was it. The books are already a dollar. Right. Only. Right. So. So, like, like with the Martha Stewart book, this book is practically brand new, as is the one that Mom is holding. And it, it this one, both of them are from Better Homes and Gardens, their official cookbooks. In their series, this one is the new crockery cookbook. In yours, country cooking. Right. So you can definitely expect to see some more Mama Debbie kitchen vlogs with her exploring recipes out of both of these books. This is huge. Well, I mean, this alone well, some is of a the lot. Videos started. I did. It is absolutely. So I, in some of my videos, I'm using a crock pot. I've been using yes. it a lot lately. It's slow, slow cooking. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you could do it on the stove, but you're watching it all the time. Right. On a, in a crock pot, you just, you just shake let it, it up. And let it, yeah. And let then it, let, let her, her go. Let her rip. So this was absolutely huge. Again, these are practically brand new, and the fact that we got them for a dollar fifty, uh, you can't do that. I mean, look, roast turkey with chestnut stuff. Oh, jeez. I mean, this is country stuff, right? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Wild pork, pork with orange. Pork stew with cornmeal dumplings. And then they have the recipe for the cornmeal dumplings. What's another good one? There's uh, some soups in Soups here. and stews. Brunswick stew. Uh, some whole wheat pancakes. Different chowders, muffins, uh, popovers, biscuits. You've got bread stuff in here for your crock pot. For your crock pot, bread you guys. For your crock pot? Yes. Ham and cheese bread, some pull apart loaves, bread sticks, uh, chowders, Ooh. fine oh, beans. Look at look at look at look at this. Oh, there you go. Pickles and relishes. Yeah. That's part of country cooking. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to look at these just because I love the old school pictures and they're fun. What, what year is that? I don't know. I don't have my glasses, so I need you. Uh, let's see here. Let me see. This one is copyright 1983. The, the, the country cooking. Yeah. See, the 80s just. We're better. Rock. Cough. Let's see here. Let me see if I, I can I'm get sure it. Right. It's the same. Copyright 87. So this is uh, four years older than this one. So. Love it. Amazing. We actually just discovered that now because again we just got <laughs> home and we're pulling the stuff out now to showcase with you guys. But. Everyone, this was such a blessing. Thank yeah. you, Mom, for doing this video for me. Thank you for yeah. an awesome day. We had a lot of fun today, and we're going to keep having fun because this is what we do. Are we making it the Frugal Fun Friday? We're making it the Frugal Fun Friday. If you guys go down below, give this video a thumbs up, share this video on all your social media, and comment down below. Do you guys like this series? If you do, tell us. We'll keep it going. Yeah, especially and it's not just on thrifting. Right. We might do some other things that Absolutely. are fun for, for us. Absolutely. And it might be fun for you. Absolutely. You get to see us and live vicariously through us like we do with other people that we admire. So. And then you can roar. Exactly. Roar. Look out, here comes the lion guard. Anyway. I love you guys. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video today. We hope you enjoyed it. Again, like I said, be sure to like this video. Share it on all your social media. Comment down below what you guys think about this video. And I will be seeing you, we will be seeing you, in the next video or live stream here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. God and bless. Do Vizenia.